Hi everyone, I wanted to come to do a video today on Platinum Hair Extensions Eurasian Straight. And this is the hair in its natural state. I didn't curl it or anything like that. Um, it's not a bone straight texture. It's more like a natural wave going on to straight. So it has like these very slight waves that you can see. And I also have a closure in as well, and the closure is a Brazilian straight closure. Um, the hair blends very well together, and this Brazilian straight is bone straight. Um, the lengths that I have in, is it, the closure I think is like 20 inches, but I did do layer into the, the, the top part of it. Um, the, the hair, the Eurasian hair, three bundles. Every bundle is 22 inches, so I have three 22s on. Uh, the texture of this hair is kind of like a mixture of Filipino hair and Brazilian hair, or Indian hair. Something that, you know that regular feel that you get, the feel of Brazilian and Indian hair? The, it feels like a mixture of both. It's not as thick as the Filipino hair and not as heavy, but it's still not fully silky like Indian here so it what I could say about this hair is that it is really close to our hair in a relaxed state like when we relax our hair this is it can be passed off really well as African American black hair whatever you have what kind of hair you have once it's relaxed or have some kind of chemical in it it's processed to be in a straight state this can blend really well with your own hair so you don't have to worry about your your hair blending with this particular texture um, I didn't dye this hair I did not um, color it it's the natural color which is like a, a wombi darkish color but in the sun it looks there's some hints of brown in there and it sheds but it's not excessive shedding. I do get some shedding going on. Um, I do the same thing that I did with my other, with my Brazilian hair. I do a twist onto my, you know like one, two big twists onto my head, kind of like a braid but a twist instead and I just open it out in the morning and it's good to go um this is a u-part wake underneath and this is the closure at top so um I just decided to start doing with u-part wakes because I make them for people but I never really was too fussy about u-part wakes because I'm a not really a wake girl and I I kind of like a sewing so I did a U-part wig because I was getting frustrated I didn't want to go through that whole process of sewing on my own hair so I said let me do a U-part wig and I honestly think I'm not going to go back to doing sewings because it's so much easier so the U-part wig was made in like 40 minutes and put on in 15 so I am forever a U-part wig girl now and the hair is light it blows and it it has a really good movement to it. It's not too shiny and it's not too dull. It's just the perfect um, luster. It's not, it's, I would say medium luster. Um, the closure is a different luster. The closure I would say is medium to high luster. A little bit high but not too shiny like synthetic hair. Um, I did bleach my knots and it came out pretty well for my first tray because it's a full sewn enclosure. I did um, a full sewing so I have no glue, no lace closure glue, anything at all. It's just a full sewing and a closure is very versatile because you can part it in any direction. And if I wanted to part over here, I could do that. Um, and it really protects your your leave out so um that is basically it it's been on for two two weeks 
I've only had it for two weeks and I really can't tell you anything else about the hair. Well, at least not right now. I have to give it time as it goes on. It does really well with heatless curls as well as heat curls. So, um, I really can't find something that I, that's, you know, that I don't really like about this hair. I do like that it's very natural. It looks, it's really believable. People see it, they think it's your real hair. It's the closest thing to our relaxed hair that you can get. Um, holds a curl well. It bounces back after a wash because that's one of the key things you look for. When you wash your hair, it should be better than it was before and not tangly and not, you know, like matted. I use my paddle brush to comb through it. As you can see, I'm doing now. I don't have any kinks or anything like that. Just use a regular paddle brush. I use argan oil, no wet stuff, and I am fine. This, oh, the length of this is 22, and it kind of goes like the Filipino hair, because you girls know the Filipino hair kind of goes a little bit longer than regular hair, because you would buy a 22, and it kind of reaches 24, or sometimes even 25. So this one is 22, and it's all the way down to late. See, it's like really long. So you're getting that extra length as well. So I would recommend buying Eurasian hair. And it sounds really exotic and different. So it was really fussy when people asked, like, what kind of hair are you wearing? I was like, Eurasian. <laughs> so um, that's basically it. I can't say anything more about the hair because this is my first time wearing Eurasian hair. And I have had it in for two single weeks. So in those two weeks, I haven't had excessive shedding. It does shed, but it's not like uncontrollable. It's not breaking at the ends. Um, it's really soft, but not too soft. It has, it's really textured. It, it just has this different feeling to it. Like once you get your region here, like say you bought your region here, you could not be fooled afterwards. Um, with another texture passed off as your Asian hair because it has this distinct feel to it. It does not feel like regular hair because most of the time you can't tell the difference between Indian, Brazilian, or Malaysian hair really. It's, you would have to be someone that constantly deals with hair to tell the difference. But this has a distinct feel to it and it has this, this look. A lot of people ask me if it was a Filipino hair. Um, but it has the same wefting as the Filipino had that nice, um, thick, sturdy wefting, and it basically has the same look. So, I've come to the end of my video, and I will be doing another update on this here in two weeks. Um, and I'll do a tutorial to show you how it does hold the curls and heat as well as heat less curls. So I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.